What's going on guys and welcome to the first Monster Hunter video that I'm doing on this brand new channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get your FPS much, much higher in Monster Hunter Wilds. I see a lot of people using 30 series cards, maybe 2080 Ti's like I do have in one of my PCs. In the other PC, I have a 4070 Ti Super. And even with the 4070 Ti Super, I was averaging around like 80 to 90 FPS with the top of the line like i9, uh, 14900K uh, processor that you can possibly get. Now, I know the AMDs are a little bit better and a lot of people with AMDs are having an easier time, but I did figure out some things that I could do to make it a little bit better. First off, the game is using DLS, uh, DLSS 3, uh, version 3. You can update it to 4 by downloading it and using a couple of programs to put it into... It, it's very easy. Now, a lot, of, a lot of people are going to be listening to that and saying, oh my God, I don't want to have to download these things. To, it's very, very simple. I can show you guys how to do this in under 10 minutes. It's very quick to do. I did it in like five minutes. Also, a lot of you may be wondering why you're doing this just for the benchmark or for the beta. You can do this for the beta and when the game comes out, this is going to work the same way. The, the way the files work in the game is going to work the same way. So if you're watching this after the 28th when the game's already out, you can still use this method. Shout out to my homie Blitz who also uh, did a video on this and is the one that gave me this idea because seeing him do this, I was like, wow, maybe I could do this on my gaming PC to make it a little bit better because my streaming PC is quite better. It has a 4070 Ti, so it runs a lot better. So I'm gonna show you guys how to go from uh, 41 FPS on my 2080 Ti uh, with a i9 in there with 64 gigs of RAM. I was very surprised I couldn't even get 60 FPS, but I am gonna show you guys how to get it a little bit higher. So the 40 series has something called frame uh, generation. So you can get the frame generation to, it's, it's like an AI tool that helps you get more frames without putting as much strain on your hardware. As you can see, my score is really high in here. This is on my 4070 Ti, of course, and I got it to 160 FPS before I was even struggling to get 100. Uh, this, was, this was with ray tracing on low, and some things turned down. Like I had ray tracing on low, shadows were on medium, um, the sky was on medium, some of the texture stuff for like sand and ambient went from, instead of highest, I put on medium. Uh, I turned off depth of field, bloom, motion blur, all that stuff. So there were some settings that were toned down a little bit. And I also had the setting on balance. I'm gonna show you guys all that in the game before, because obviously you wanna see me do it. Even then, I could not even get 100 FPS. Then doing some tweaks and also using frame generation, I got to 160 FPS. This was on my 4070 Ti. I see a lot of people using the 4070 Ti or 4080, 4090, and they are still, my friend has a 4090 uh, and he was struggling to get 105. So he couldn't even get 120 FPS. And I am averaging now 160 FPS. Now we're gonna try in this video to get this 40 to an average 60 above because 40 is awful. <laughs> you do not want to play 40 on a PC game. So we're going to try to play on my 2080 Ti. So if you have something similar or a 30 series, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Let's get right into it. I am going to leave everything linked down below. So we're going to download this DLSS swapper, which is going to allow you to swap from your DLSS 3 in the game to DLSS 4. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this right here where it says V1.15. You're going to hit that and then you are going to go down to the bottom and download DLSS swapper.exe, not the net.exe. You're going to download this one. What I recommend is putting this on your desktop. It'll be a lot easier to find. Then you're also going to download the NVIDIA Profile Inspector revamped. You're just going to clip on the zip right here. Also put this on your desktop. It'll be a lot easier to find. I will leave this link down below as well all you're going to do is go down to the one that says universal and you're going to hit manual download and then you're just going to hit slow download i already have it in so just download it to your desktop or your download folder and then all you're going to do is you're going to grab these two files version dll and dlssg right here the top two files you're just going to drag that into the monster hunter folder where the monsterhunter.exe is just go to steam click on the game and hit browse local files it'll bring this right up now all you got to do is copy it in there i already have it in there so i don't need to do that but you're just going to be putting those two files in there that will allow you to put frame regeneration on if you want to turn that off you can just go and delete those files from that folder now you're going to open up dlss swapper and you're going to click on more info and hit run anyway because there's a third party program so it's asking if you actually want to install it and hit install install it to your desktop okay once that's done you hit finish and you're going to open up the dlss swapper folder and you're going to scroll down 
until you get to the DLSS swapper .exe file, you're gonna launch this. Okay, and then it should bring up something like this. It's gonna show you the games that you have installed in your PC. And it'll, it's also gonna show you the versions that you can download. Now, this one says 3.10, but this is actually version four. So you're gonna hit download here. You're gonna click the little download icon. And then once that's finished downloading, you're gonna be able to click on an icon that's gonna bring you directly to the folder that's being installed. Open the local files for the game. Then you're going to open the file for the DLSS swapper that you had over here. You click on that link, it links you right to uh, the file and then you can choose to put it on your desktop, which is what I'm gonna do. I I'm just gonna put it in my download folder. Okay, it's been exported. You're gonna go to the DLSS frame generation. You're going to also save it on your downloads or on save it on your desktop that way it's easier to find then we're gonna go to the download folder and open these two files up so this one right here we're gonna take this this is the dlss uh version 3.10 which is the dlss 4 you're going to just take this very simple you're just gonna drag this onto the monster hunter file folder and it's gonna say do you want to replace the file and destination you're gonna hit yes now you're going to do the same thing with the other dlss swap file which is the frame generation one and you're gonna just drag it over and it's gonna say do you want to replace you're gonna hit yes so now if i hover over these it's gonna say version 310 so both of these files have been replaced you're also gonna open up the nvidia revamped zip file you're gonna take this folder that says nvidia profile inspector revamped just drag it on to your desktop right here so it's easier for you to find and you're gonna open up the NVIDIA file. And while you have that on your desktop, what you're gonna do is highlight the disabled U, uh, UI and enable UI. You're gonna drag it on top of that folder and copy it on there. Then you're gonna open the file and you're going to turn on enable DLSS UI. What this is going to do is it's gonna tell you what DLSS version is on in the game. When you open a game, it'll show up on the bottom left. You're just gonna click enable. It's gonna ask you if you wanna run it. You're gonna say yes. And then it's gonna say adding information, blah, blah, blah. Just hit yes and continue. I will say after you figured out what DLSS version it has, disable it once you actually play the game. Uh, because sometimes it, it messes with the uh, the game you don't want to have it running the last thing you're going to do is go to nvidia profile inspector and you're going to click double click this and you're also going to do the same thing you're going to hit run anyway and you're going to download this other file that brings up for you the and the 9.0 desktop you're going to click save okay once it's done downloading you're going to open it up i also recommend either putting that in your downloads folder or on your desktop it'll make it easier to find then you're going to click install it should be pretty quick it says installation is successful you're going to close and then you're going to double click the video again and it should open the, the profile inspector okay and once that's open it's going to bring up this menu i'm going to show you guys how to do this before i launch the game it doesn't work unless you apply it to the game itself anyway so let's just show you guys what you need to do here so you're going to go over to where it says DLSS overrides, and you're gonna go to the first one right here, which is frame generation. Frame generation, latest DLL, you're just gonna turn that on. And then you're also gonna go to SR preset over here where it says NA, and you're gonna turn it uh, to preset K. Now, I already know which one it is because I already know the game is going to say pro, uh, preset E, which is a very old version, it's 3.7. So preset K is going to be the DLSS4. So you're gonna select that one, once that's done, you're gonna hit apply changes, but we're not, I'm not gonna do that yet because I want to show you guys uh, the settings in the game so you guys will believe that what I'm saying is true. As you can see in the bottom, it says render preset E. So that is version 3.7 of DLSS. So it's DLSS 3. I go to options and I click on the graphics area right here and I go to DLSS, it's at 3.7.10. So this is still DLSS 3. As you guys can see, I had everything on high. I had ray tra I think ray tracing gets turned off automatically until you get back into the thing and redo it. And I can see my VRAM usage is pretty low and I was still not getting the you know amount of frames that I wanted. So now with that being said, you guys already saw that my FPS was at like 41 at max settings. So we're gonna back out now. We're gonna close the game and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like afterwards. So you're gonna close the game. We're gonna bring up the profile inspector and now I'm gonna hit apply changes. We've applied the changes. Now, if you guys wanna see, so what this did is it saved it on all games. Any game that you can do this on, it will just do it automatically on all global games. If you wanna make a profile for it, you just click the sun icon. I'm just gonna call it MH Wilds Bench. Okay, and then we're gonna hit okay. Now to implement this on the game itself you're going to click on this icon right here that says add application to current profile then you're going to find the game itself which you're just going to go to your steam file uh, your steam settings find the game and add it to the exe settings and you're going to find monster hunter wilds benchmark you're going to click on that and you're going to click on the exe file which is the application file for the game 
and hit open. Now, after closing all that, just remember to go over the, to the profile um, inspector revamp folder that you put on your desktop and disable the UI. Once that's disabled, it will no longer show on the bottom left of your screen and it will no longer be running while you're playing the game. Now, with all that installed, let us relaunch the game. Now, one last thing I want you guys to do before you open the game is to make sure that you have hardware acceleration GPU scheduling on. Now, what you wanna do is right click on your background, go to display settings, go all the way down to where it says graphics, and then make sure that you go to advanced graphics and then that this is on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. This is how you use hardware acceleration like frame generation and stuff like that. So if that's not on, it will not work. So make sure you guys have that on. And of course, also make sure that your drivers are up to date, your NVIDIA drivers, because of course that is one of the most important things. As you can see, I am up to date. The latest version is 572. 0.16. So if you don't have that, you need to do an update. Now let's load the game again. Now I will warn you ahead of time, using frame generation on a 30 series or a especially the 20 series, the 20 series is going to see this more than the 30 series. It is going to, especially because it's a multiplayer game, it's something to do with the multiplayer games and the UI. It adds like a little bit of jitter, not stuttering, but it adds almost like a tiny blur effect at times to certain pieces of the ui or a character that's just what you got to sacrifice if you're really really struggling to get more frame rate in this game hopefully they optimize it better but you will see what i'm talking about when i show you guys the benchmark i'm also going to go over the settings really quickly for you as you can see now the game at launch is asking me do you want to enable frame generation feature which is again only supposed to be able to use on the 40 series but here we are so we're going to go through here we're going to put everything at high we're going to put the highest here Texture quality highest, mesh quality highest, and also high fur quality. We're gonna go over here, we're gonna put performance. You could use balance as well, but I'm gonna put performance because the game is gonna run a lot better with higher frame rate. And as you can see, frame generation is on here. And as you can also see, it is now also DLSS 3.10, which is the DLSS version which is going to make a significant difference in the upscaling of the graphics now i'm just going to turn off depth of field motion blur and bloom because i get motion sickness when i play these games when i play a high like action you know fast-paced action games and there's like motion blur and stuff on the screen because it just makes me really nauseous so i'm going to turn those off here we go benchmark time so you guys can see what a difference. Again, remember, I was averaging like 40 frames on the other one with no frame generation and no DLSS 10. Or, sorry. <laughs> As you can see, we're already starting with 100 FPS. Nothing wrong here so far. No jittering, no stuttering, no blur, none of that. You only really see it when it's like very, very fast paced stuff or a lot going on. And even then it's like for a split second. So if you can deal with that, then this will be very good for you. <laughs> uh, if you really, really need this, if you have like a 2070 or like a 3060, 3070, and you're really, really struggling to get at least 60 FPS, the frame, regen frame generation is definitely gonna help you get there. Hopefully when the game is out, there is V-Sync and also you can lock your FPS because this, this jittering and like, there hasn't shown yet, but the jittering and stuff will probably be fixed if you're able to turn V-Sync on. As you can see, we're still averaging around 100 FPS in this cutscene. It's probably gonna go down a little bit when we get to that lightning area. Yep. That looks good. So I think you saw a little bit there, a little bit of jitter there at that moment, but it instantly went away. So if you're able to deal with that, then this isn't gonna be a big deal for you. But I know for some people that might be uh, very jarring to look at. But again, if you're really trying to get that FPS and you, you really, really wanna play this on PC and you don't have any other option, uh, this is a very good option for you to use. Very free option. You don't need to buy a new graphics card. And again, I feel like this game severely needs to be optimized uh, because there's no way that even with a 2080 Ti, if I turn off, if I have it running at 1080p and I have ray tracing off and lower some settings, I can't even get 60 FPS. That is kind of insane. When I'm able to run uh, Cyberpunk 2077 on max graphics, with ray tracing at max and get almost 120 fps on this on this um on this graphics card so 
when you get down here, you're going to start seeing that blur effect, I think. that I, uh, It's only if you... Yeah, so you saw it a little bit of like an after image kind of thing when you're falling down there. And you can see it right now, too, as it was turning onto your character. But then once it settles in and loads in the area, it goes away. As you can see, there's like a tiny bit of a like jittery like blur around the character. And it's, it's sometimes very noticeable. But then it just very quickly also goes away. Uh, so it's only when you're doing like fast motions of turning and like zooming into the character, or, you know, stuff like that. But overall, when, when playing the game like this, you don't really notice it at all. And I'm still getting 80 FPS. Maybe if you lock it at 60, this doesn't happen, but the game doesn't, the, the benchmark doesn't allow you to lock it at 60. And there's also no V-Sync option. I really think a V-Sync uh, option, turning it on, hopefully that's in the game when the game comes out or even in the beta. Hopefully, if there's a V-Sync option, you can turn it on. That goes away. And then also the same with locking the 60 FPS. You can still see it a little tiny bit here. But like I said, it's not crazy noticeable. But you can see it when you do those great, like, fast turns and stuff. Oof. Yeah. So that's what you got to sacrifice if you really want to get more FPS, unfortunately. Yeah, you're, you're averaging 80 FPS. Again, I think putting this at 60 is going to fix everything. Welcome. Now, this cutscene, you're not going to see any of that jittery stuff. Go ahead. Help yourself. So, at least the cutscenes will look really good. You don't see any of that. It's only in the, in the game when you're doing those very fast moments, uh, very fast movements and stuff. So, we're going to lock in here averaging about 83 frames per second. Yep, about 83 frames per second using frame generation. Now, let me just refresh your memory. Without frame regeneration, frame generation, and uh, doing it at 4K, I was only averaging 40 FPS. Very, very low. Don't understand how with 64 gigs of RAM and i9, it is like the oldest, one of the oldest i9s. It's still better than i7. And also a 2080 Ti, um, not even able to get 60 FPS on 1080p. So there you have it. That is how you get frame generation on older graphics cards and get it to work on your PC to give you at least double your frame rate because that is pretty much what it gave me on mine. It gave me probably 30 to 40 frames more than what I was already getting. Like I said, maybe when the game officially releases or in the beta, we'll be able to do a v-sync option or lock it at 60 fps to avoid getting that jittery uh like blurry movement sometimes when when turning too fast and stuff like that if you guys can deal with it the little bit of blurriness and jarriness that you get from that at certain points at some points then this is how you get your frame rate higher but not then uh you might want to spend a two grand on a new <laughs> graphics card i pray to god they optimize this game better because there's no way that i was able to run Cyberpunk max settings, all ray tracing at max with 60 to 120 FPS, no problems on my 2080 Ti, which I think that game definitely looks better and has way more reflective surfaces on the ray tracing, obviously, than uh, Monster Hunter Wilds, which is a lot of vast open world, you know, desert areas. So I, in my opinion, think Cyberpunk has better graphics than Monster Hunter Wilds, and yet... Monster Hunter Wilds runs worse. So hopefully they optimize the game, but this is an issue they always have with uh, Monster Hunter games when they release on PC. So let's hope that they fix that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, this is a new channel. Feel free to hit that subscribe button and like the video if this helped you guys out and you enjoyed the video. And ring that notification bell to be notified for future videos. This is a new channel and I'm going to be doing a lot of Monster Hunter content on here for you guys. A lot of guides, news updates, mods, and stuff like that on this channel. So I'm looking forward to making content for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the next video.